Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to work on Kyle's F850 GSA and we're gonna troubleshoot his clutch problems. So stick around. So a little bit of background. Um, after we tried the single track uh, hill climb, um, the clutch is having some trouble on the 850 GS Adventure. So when I'm going down the road, my hand is off the clutch and I, I gun the engine, I rev the engine. Um, it will accelerate, but it does so slowly. The, the RPMs come way up, um, but the clutch feels like it's slipping, um, like it's not fully engaged. So Pam and I figure one of two things has occurred. Either the clutch is three quarters ruined uh, and probably needs to be replaced because it's just barely gripping, or um, again with this troublesome clutch cable, it's possible that the clutch cable lower adjustment um, is too tight, and therefore it's always sort of allowing the clutch, or, or keeping the clutch from fully engaging um, as I'm going down the road, even though my hand's off the clutch. So we're gonna try adjusting everything, uh, and then we'll take it for a test drive and see if it works. So we're gonna start right here, the lower end of the bike. You'll see where the engine is. There's this panel and you will need a 25 Torx to remove this screw. So you can ID this panel by this hose here on the 850 that has the wrapping on it straight up above. There's a long T25 here. Yeah, I'll pull that out and disconnect this little or not disconnect, but take it out of its mountings there, and then uh, pull this up. There is some sort of clip uh, back there that I'm having trouble. You actually don't need off. to remove it. Yeah, Here. I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna lift it up so we can see where it is, and you guys can see where the cable is. I hope I'm shining the light right, right there. Right there. Here, I'll move the clutch, and you can see that little actuator. Right there is what. Uh, there you go. The clutch. So my theory is either the clutch is bad, or this cable is too tight. Therefore, always keeping the the little lever a little too far this way and not allowing it to go all the way back. Yeah. So because it is, well, it's not as tight as I would have hoped, but it is sort of tight. So we'll loosen it up, see if it has any more play going back. Should be fairly quick to find out. We're gonna loosen this nut over here. And it is a 13 millimeter, let's see. Yep. Yep, 13 millimeter. All right, so as I do this, hopefully we see the lever go back a little bit. Yeah, it's loosening. Twist it up. There you go. Hmm. Loosen the other side. Let's see if I can. Just kind of, yeah. that is totally in my way. I don't know what that is, but it's totally in my way. Clutch position sensor, I'm guessing, but that's just a guess. Well, that nut was hella loose. Yeah, it's not even tight. Right there. Okay. Uh, I want to move everything this way, right? Towards the rear. Because hmm. we want the lever to go back further this way, hopefully. So what if I... Wow, there is just no room to turn anything. This whole thing, starting right here, going back to here, is just one threaded assembly. And so the nuts either pull it or push it through to tighten this thing up. So if you want to tighten this up, uh, you have to push it forward. You have to bring the whole assembly forward, forward basically. Yeah. Uh, I believe. So. Oh. Um, tightening. So pushing it forward. Uh, tightening this one, which should pull it forward. In order to tighten that one, I have to loosen this one problem is there's just there's no room to work on anything here and I tightened it back up just to the point where it's not gonna fall out okay, that's a 
pretty snug. Just test ride it. I think it's your actual clutch. Bring this up through here. I uh, we took it. We took off the panel. We loosened the the adjustment to the point where the cable was almost falling out, and then we snugged it back up just to the point where it's not going to fall out. So theoretically, that little clutch lever should be all the way back. Uh, again, my hope was that maybe it had tightened itself up and it was always sort of quasi engaging the clutch. Um, I don't feel like I got very much out of it, so. Really, the only thing left to do right now is a test drive. What happened last time when the dealer saw it? What, what did they actually... Because I thought it was seized. It found itself, right? Did you actually see them fix it? No, he replaced the cable. Um, he put a new cable on it. Um, okay, what did he say was wrong with the cable? So, two things uh, were wrong with the cable. One was that adjustment down there had basically completely loosened itself um, and the cable itself had gotten hot enough to melt the coating on it and therefore the instead of flowing freely the, the coating grabbed it and would not allow the cable to move inside of it basically and so while the cable when every time I pulled the lever the cable stretched a little it wasn't actually moving mm -hmm. down there because the it's like the plastic melted on it, the rubber melted on it. Um, but so this one clearly moves now. It does, we, yeah. we saw it move. So what I'm afraid of is it's actually the clutch that needs to be replaced at this point. But we're going to find out after the test ride. I mean, it seems to have helped a little actually. Before when I gunned it in third, it would just completely slip for 10 seconds and then finally kind of sort of quasi catch up. They let go a little bit there in third. Whoa. See what I mean right there? They let go. I don't know if you can see that or not. Tilt it down. It never used to do that. So my plan is to just um, go two exits down and then I'll enter an exit. I'll do a loop on the interstate. That way I can do the on-ramps where you can get up to speed real fast. Because here, uh, the interstate's too busy, I can't really slow down and I'm gunning. I feel like it's a little better. I mean, I guess maybe it's a little too early to say, yeah, I'll do it three or four more times. I'm just going to do a loop on the interstate. I'll go around two or three times. That way I can take the on-ramps. Because I need a space where I can really accelerate. absolutely perfect the last two runs so I'm just gonna do this once more I mean I'm really gunning the bike so if it's working it's working I don't want to do this all day and eat up the clutch and beat up the bike for no reason I mean that worked great it's funny because it was slipping in the neighborhood it, it slipped a little bit there um, I don't know if the GoPro caught that or not, but 
Here we go. This is a nice test. Wow. I think it fixed it. That's insane. I mean, the difference is enormous driving it, but working on it, it's just, I didn't even see that lever move, but clearly something has been fixed. Well, I'm going home. This was awesome. After test riding, uh, this is what he has to say. Uh, it worked. Um, we were not expecting that uh, because as we were down there adjusting the lower adjustments, uh, it didn't look like we were getting anything out of it. But we did find that the um, out of the two nuts, the rear nut was very loose. So we backed everything out and allowed the cable to go slack and then tightened it back up just a little bit. Um, I, I don't really know what to say other than when we were when I drove around the neighborhood here it, it slipped a little uh, but then I took it out on the interstate and really put it through its paces um, and it didn't slip once uh, or maybe once but but it was primarily resolved so I uh, I think it's just yet another example of this uh, clutch cable needing a lot of maintenance <laughs> I can't say for sure that we fixed anything or we didn't because uh, it's a problem that's kind of like not consistent. So after uh, the first time around that we thought, oh, he burnt the, cl the clutch, right? So we took it to the dealer because it should still be under warranty. It has very low mileage and the dealer said it wasn't the actual clutch plates. It was just the cable. It was. Uh, basically melted into each other and uh, stuck to each other and he also said that it's something that um, is very common problem with the GSA um, he didn't really specify which ones 850 or 1200 I don't think no. so right he just said it's common with the adventure models uh, so we thought okay and they said yeah they replaced the clutch no issue like the clutch cable they replaced it and um, Everything was dandy until like one day we were riding and the bike was already warmed up But on the way home, he started losing uh, clutch power um, In higher gears, wasn't it like third and fourth gear? Third and fourth, so if I'm going down the road and I need to speed up right away and I gun the throttle That just slips and it will eventually speed up, but it's a lot of slippage. Yeah, so basically it's not catching uh, properly and so we thought, okay, let's check the cable again. Maybe the cable got loose or something. And so as you guys saw, when we opened it up, the cable, the the one on the rear, um, the, the rear nut was already loose. It was never tightened. I don't know how that would affect anything because the front part of it is still tight, but maybe it, it has a tendency to move back and forth when you didn't lock it in place because the rear nut was loose. This is all theoretically speaking, basically. So when you were te test riding on those gears, did they slip? Uh, initially, when I first turned the bike on and I took them um, around the block, up a hill, down a hill, it did slip. On uh, those gears, on third those, and fourth gear. On third gear. and fourth gear. Uh, and then I thought, well, because uh, it, it slipped the first two times and I did it a third time in the neighborhood and it didn't slip. And I thought, well, there's children playing here i better go out on the interstate to try this so i went out on the interstate as i as you take the on-ramp you can speed up really fast and so i i really just went through the gears as fast as possible trying to get the clutch to slip and it, i don't think it slipped even once and then i did it two or three more times and it never slipped once um, even a really tough acceleration in fourth gear where I had let the RPMs get a little low and we were going uphill and I was changing lanes and I gunned it, it would have been super tough on the clutch. Uh, if it was failing, it held together. So, um, yeah, so yeah. It, we really can't say for a fact that it may or may not have helped that cable fix that we did. It may or may not have helped. The only thing we can see going forward is that if it keeps happening, then I would really suspect uh, if the cable, we check the cable again and this time, you know, we made sure it's tightened and 
then it could be the plates at that at that point. It certainly helped for now. It's because yeah. it was doing it, now it's not. But yeah. here's the thing, it's got like 200 miles on it since um, the dealer adjusted it, since we got back from that road trip uh, where the clutch failed. I mean, yeah. like literally, like less than 200 miles. And so for the dealer to adjust, to replace the cable, adjust it perfectly, 200 miles later now, we're having to tear the bike apart and do that. I just, like Pam said, I'm not sure we fixed it forever. Yeah. Because I don't know what's going to happen next to it. Yeah. And you're right, the dealer did say, he's like, look, this is not uncommon. We see maybe three or four or five of these a month um, on the GSAs, is what he said. Mm -hmm. They come in with clutch cables that have either stretched beyond recognition or have melted to each other or, or whatever. And um, I mean, I still love the bike. It just, now we know it's a weak point, so. Yeah, so if it keeps happening and next time there's nothing wrong with the cable at all, then obviously we'll need to uh, check out the actual clutch and possibly replace it, which uh, we were hoping that it would still be under warranty by that time, but we'll see how, how far, uh, how many more um, time we've spent before that happens, because yeah. what is it, like a year? It's, well, I have a year left. It's three years, yeah. 36,000 miles or something like that, but there's a year left on it. But here's a catch, it's not that easy to get that warranty because they're gonna have to approve it and you know send the approval straight to BMW and then it's not by the dealer, it's by the actual manufacturer. So if the manufacturer says, uh, no, I don't think this is, you know, then you have to pay for it. So that's kind of a, a risk. And in order to, an option to avoid that risk is to just go ahead and do the clutch replacement ourselves, which is also, uh, the thing is here is you can't tell the future. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if the dealer covers, you know, if if uh, BMW covers it under warranty, then we pay nothing, like what the diagnostic at least, which is like 100 bucks, yeah. whatever. Um, but if we have to fix it, then we have to pay the clutch price, which is like $800 after tax, basically shipping, whatever. It's about a thousand bucks after you're done with everything. Because <laughs> so. you got the oil. You it's about a thousand. Whatever. Yeah. Um, anyways, so that was the, that's the gamble. <laughs> well, and at the dealer, even if they think it's likely that it's going to be covered under warranty, the way that the BMWs work in California, at least, is you pay up front regardless. They submit the warranty claim, and then if BMW approves it, they'll pay you back, according to the dealer. That's, yeah. that's what they told us. Um, but that first step is they have to fill out the paperwork. The dealer has to fill out the paperwork. They have to advocate for you. They have to say, pretty much to get a claim approved, they have to write the paperwork in a manner which allows the office managers in Germany at BMW to approve the claim. So if the dealer's like, meh, then you're never gonna get it approved. And even if they do advocate for you, um, you know, there's don't. there's that chance that yeah. they're gonna deny it and you've already paid them and you know if you have them work on it that means you're not only paying for the parts you're also paying for dealer lab dealership labor which is really expensive they quoted me um, what they quote us 1650 I think 1650 if everything goes perfectly so that's they open it up they replace the clutch they close it there's nothing else wrong there's nothing else going on that's thousand six hundred and fifty yeah. um, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, so yeah. th hopefully this video will help some of you guys. Um, I haven't had this issue before on my GS. I have the 750 GS. I don't have this issue. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Play with it, I guess. Um, yeah. The big thing for us was we didn't know there was, at least I didn't know there was a lower adjustment um, prior to the, the clutch going out uh, and the dealer explaining that. So. Now that I know about that, um, and now that Pam's seen the dealer do it, we have the skills, I guess, to open it up on the side of the road and mess with it. And what do you mean you don't know? The first time you took it out, he got stranded in the middle of the... So oh, but see, that was a different issue. So the cable... But that was the lower part, too, that I found. It yeah. was. So we, yeah. uh, it was, the cable has a little bell end on it that, that catches in the hasp. Um, and it wasn't actually just the adjustment, it had just completely popped out. So I guess, I mean, probably it's because the same of the adjustment. Area. Yeah, it's the yeah. same area. So basically this bike uh, had cable issues even when it was spanking new. That was so like a hundred miles. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, he like just got miles. the bike and he was commuting with it. Yeah. In um, rush hour, yeah. 
So anyways, that's all we have for today's video. I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next video. If you have questions, leave it in the comments below. Um, we will try our best to answer it. We're not professionals. We are learning as we go. Or suggestions if you've replaced your clutch. <laughs> I know I read a comment the other day, someone had uh, proposed replacing the cable clutch with a pneumatic clutch, an aftermarket um, pneumatic clutch. So if you've done something like that before, let us know if it worked, and uh, hopefully we won't have to do that. <laughs> I know. Uh, 